Hey YouTube, I got my new um, Leaf Motor 1500 watt model here. Uh, I first got interested in this motor when I saw a spec sheet posted by someone on the in the Sphere forum about a 35 millimeter uh, nine continent type motor, um, and I looked at Leaf Motors' uh, webpage and they they listed uh, some some other motor in the spec sheet and it, it looked like it was like 80 percent efficient peak which wasn't very interesting but in another listing they, they noticed that, or they mentioned that it was 90 percent peak efficient and so I looked into that and um, got uh, Leaf Motor to up, update their um, their spec sheet on their web page and check that out and it looked like it averaged uh, about 88 percent efficiency and I wondered exactly why that was and they claimed that it was um, due to higher quality laminations. Um, so I figured, you know, why not, you know, throw 300 bucks at this and see how it goes. I opened this thing up and it did have uh, 0.35 millimeter laminations, unlike the normal motors where they will use 0.5 millimeter laminations. So that uh, reduces the the uh, stator losses quite a bit when you do that, and that is one of the reasons why it actually does seem to be a very efficient motor. Uh, the other thing about this motor is that the the laminations, well, um, actually no, the windings are um, are very flat against the stator. There isn't a lot of excess copper um, kind of hanging around the stator, uh, being wasted, just making heat. Uh, it looked like they had kind of uh, taken care to sort of press the. Uh, the uh, the copper is as um, tightly to the stator as they possibly could, which uh, would would be another reason why it's also efficient. This is um, kind of a, a design they use on more professional high-end motors. Um, so actually, I'm I'm rather pleased with this thing. Uh, I just took it up a, a big old uh, maybe seven twelve percent grade hill near my house, and uh, the twelve fed I have in here is is screaming for mercy at seventy amps. Uh, the motor is just barely warm. Uh, it's getting dark, but I really wanted to show you um, just a, a rip up that hill. Um, and yeah, I'm at, uh, I've programmed it for about 60, 60 amps and I'm on uh, 49 volts right now, so. Uh, 49.5. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. I'm not pedaling, by the way. And my chain looks like it has flown off. So, one second. Okay. Yeah, it's not really set up for pedaling just yet. But yeah, it's uh, pretty much a beast. We're, we're on fairly flat ground now. I'm just gonna smack the throttle.
Uh, that was on 120% mode with the Infineon 12 fat, by the way. So we hit about 42 miles per hour. Uh, I'm going to go back down and show you the speed at 100% to give you a more realistic idea. I'm sure my controller is just... Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> and the motor... is barely freaking warm. <laughs> awesome. Alright, let's give it a 100% run. Well, that's pretty thrilling. <laughs> and of course my chain had to have fallen off again. Uh, whatever, let's, let's mosey on home. I'll, uh, I'll do 120% down a hill. Why not? All right. <laughs> well, let's see how the 12 fat's doing. I, I think this this is going to. Whoa. Yeah, I can barely touch it.